what's up everybody today I'm gonna to be doing a tool haul video while I wait for parts on the Honda Pilot uh, if you've watched any of those videos you can tell that I have a gasket I'm waiting for before I do the final video on this it hasn't gotten in yet but we should be putting it up hopefully this week because it's supposed to be here today uh, this is it right here if anybody's interested and I'll put a link up in the description up below right there And like I said, I only have uh, one gasket to do on this and we'll be finished because on the last video I'm just gonna be doing pretty much torque specs on this thing. I'm not going I didn't show the full installation procedure on it But like I said, that's a whole different video. We're just gonna do the tool haul video while we're waiting on the parts for that so what I wanted to show was this is mainly a um, Harbor Freight tool haul video. I do have uh, probably two things on here that I, or three that I did not get from Harbor Freight. The rest all came from Harbor Freight and figured why not give it a try. First thing I wanted to show though was this right here. This is their eight piece snap on, I mean snap ring set, not snap on, but snap ring. Like I said, it comes with eight of them and comes with uh, nine sevens. Yeah, comes with nine inch and seven inch uh, snap ring pliers, external and internal. It has straights, 90s, and 45 degree pliers in here. The uh, cases, not too bad, you know, it's, it is a plastic case, about the same as all other ones, but not too bad the tips of the snap ring pliers give you good engagement uh, they're deep they're long enough to get in there the handles feel good they're not heavy they move pretty good too like they're not stiff by no means i have not used them yet so i don't know how they're going to hold up but they're only 70 dollars and for 70 dollars compared to what snap on or Nipex or any of that really want for a uh, good set of theirs figure why not give it a try What got me to buy that was this right here I needed a pair of snap room pliers and a pinch because I was out in the field working on Like a wheel bearing and needed a pair of snap room pliers and didn't and I went to Actually O'Reilly's and bought these right here Don't buy these. These are the power built completely junk Took me way too long to get a snap ring out and they halfway did it as well so don't waste your money on these these right here were like $20 too but I'm not worried about that but like I said for for $70 this would be a good take with me set that if I lose one or something I'm not gonna cry about it and next what I got at Harbor Freight were these universals right here or swivels whatever you want to call them these are the pin design one of the pinless but they didn't have them in stock at mine i think these were like twelve dollars over there and it's a three eighths and the half inch figure why not they'll come in handy in a pinch uh they are kind of heavy and they're bulky that's the only thing i don't really like about them but they seem to move easy and they don't bind up too bad so if for some, another set of swivels, you know, especially having these half inch ones right there, that'd be nice because I don't really have too many half inch swivels. Also, while we were there, I picked up a set of these flush cut pliers. And as you can read on there, it says for plastic and soft wire use only. I wouldn't use them on any like TIG wire other than probably aluminum. But I've used these a couple times and they work extremely well. As you can see in my hand, I wear a large glove and they're about the size of my hand. They're not heavy. They got really sharp tip on them. Even the tip of those has a good point on it. They're flush right there. There's not one side sticking up higher than the other. And the handles are actually really comfortable. They fit perfect in my hand. So for, I think these were like $17. For $17 for a good pair of flush cut pliers, it's worth it. Then we bought two pry bars. This is just their cheap house brand. I needed two, I need a good 
need two of them to be honest but um i needed a big one and a small one and they only had this short one right here and they didn't have a larger one in stock but i did pick up this one right here which has the adjustable head where whenever you press the button you can move it and it'll flip all the way back same like this so it's just that little maybe 45 degrees a swing in the middle that you don't get and if you press this button right here get it extend out let me see if I can show it to you and it extends to uh, 36 inches I think it collapsed down to either 16 or 18 and it's got a good knurled handle to hold on to so you don't slip and it works really well i've used this already i had to use it on pulling out a set of injectors on a 5.3 direct injected engine so that pulled it out that was perfect for what i needed and then while we're at raleigh's o'reilly's one day i bought this fluid extractor as you can see this goes in here and it's just like a pump style and it extracts it i've used it already used it actually a couple times works really good this is actually a six quart container it doesn't look like it but it does it holds six and a half quarts uh, you just put this right here let me just get this put, put on put that down on there and you put that over it and this tube right here will go down into the dipstick or it'll go down into where you pull uh, put your oil out on some of the like Jaguars and stuff. There's a tube where you actually run this down into the crankcase and you can actually pull the oil out of that. And it also gives you a pour funnel spout that you can put right here so you can pour it into a container or something. And then lastly, uh, we got this cart right here that everything is sitting on. It is an OEM tools. We got this off of Amazon. I think it was like $60. It's adjustable. You can move the leg right here out. And you can turn this right here and make the height adjustable. And it did have one little dent in it, which I'm not worried about that. I mean, it's going to probably get dented up in the future anyway. So that wasn't a big deal for me to send it back to Amazon because it did have a hard time getting here. It's supposed to have been here in like three days and it took about two weeks, which I'm not complaining about that. It's just, you know, I didn't need it, need it. If it was something I really needed, I probably would have just told them to send it back. But I just said, if it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't. They come almost fully assembled. The only thing I had to put together was right here. Put these four bolts in it and then put the handles and the the other leg in it and other than that like i didn't even have to put the wheels on the wheels were already attached and everything but it's a nice little cart you know i can move it around real easy it rolls extremely well and it's got four casters instead of two casters and two stationary wheels but for the price it's going to work great for what i need that way i can roll it outside or roll it from my toolbox to what I'm working on real easy and it just makes things easier but that's going to do it for this two haul tool haul video Ugh, I can talk right but it's going to do that for the tool haul video on this like I said it is pretty much a Harbor Freight icon tool haul video uh, we're going to give everything a shot and after I use it for everything for a while I'm going to come back and do a review especially on these snap ring pliers because it is hard to find a really good snap ring plier set that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. And I just like to give this a chance and for being a mobile set, it probably should work out fine for me. But if you enjoy this video and enjoy automotive content, tool content, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell if you would. It helps out the channel. And until next time, y'all have a great day.